Good day everyone and welcome to another discussion under Office Systems and Procedures. So now we'll be talking about common problems in the offices today. All right. So um, uh, we'll be dealing with a lot of things and we'll start off about communication, um, staying engaged and motivated, project management and organization, staff attitudes and hierarchy, uh, dealing with change, countering negativity, ability to be creative and difficult clients or patrons. All right, so let's start off with the first one, communication, All right? So navigating different communication styles and the priori uh, pri prioritization or priority okay, of communication in the office is a challenge most uh, employees uh, face. Huh? So a uh, lack of effective communication hinders a team's efficiency and can also impact employees' level of trust amongst each other and management. All right. So that's a problem that or a challenge that is being faced by different offices. That lalo na kung uh, management ay hindi talaga uh, nakukommunicate sa kanilang um, employees or uh, in the perspective of an employee to employee. Now, uh, instead of solving a problem, communicating with um, with the colleagues, I hindi na na address kasi nga there's a lack of communication. All right. So um, although a communication covers an array of office obstacles, um, it, it always boils down no, to the management. And uh, of course, uh, the management should always okay, enforce good communication within the offices that they handle. Right? Now, the second one is staying engaged and motivated. Right? So, uh, according to research, only 32% of workers were reported as being engaged in their jobs in 2015. So, as we can see, it's very low. Okay, 32% lang. San yung iba? Okay, so majority of um, employees, 50.8%, are considered as not engaged. Right, so uh, basta yung mga employees lang, mga so so employees lang. Right, maybe it's a lack of um, motivation for them. And 17.2% are actively disengaged or talagang hindi talaga uh, nakikipag-trabaho or ando pumapasok lang just for the case of money or because of salary. Alright? So, anong pinapakita ng numbers na ito? Alright? So, it's a challenge. Okay? Again, from the intrinsic motivation and the extrinsic motivation of an employee. Alright? So if an employee is really engaged to his or her work, okay, they should stay uh, motivated. Okay? Pero uh, pag motivated naman ang employee pero ang management hindi binibigay ang um, proper salary and that could cause uh, less ex or yung extrins uh, extrinsic motivation nila ay hindi uh, maganda. No? So baka yan ang dahilan kaya hindi sila nakikipag-engage or talagang totally na pumapasok lang para, you know, uh, for the sake of the salary. Right? Next here is we have project management and organization. Right. So, um, uh, in this area, okay, lack of strong and consistent project management. All right. So even if you have a great team in a place that is highly engaged and uh, communicates effectively, okay, so maganda ang communication, um, engaged naman ang mga uh, employees, chances are they are uh, stumbling over the organization hurdle during projects, all right? So uh, a lot of organization is up, where, uh, up there when it comes to the challenges people share with um, other people, right? So some of the feedback that uh, we can hear is that there can be a lack of strong and consistent project management 
or lack of direction uh, in their roles, which makes it tough to organize and prioritize tasks. All right. So, ito yung hindi masyadong na-organize kung ano ang role mo as an employee. Okay? Ikaw nga ay nag-apply bilang uh, sabay, sabihin nating secretary. Pero, ginagawa mo naman ang admin works. So, walang uh, direction ang iyong role na in okay? So, this becomes a challenge. Kasi, parang wala ka nang sinusundang role. Instead of being a secretary, you are working as an admin. Okay? So, wala naman yun sa kontrata mo. So, that becomes a challenge or a problem. Alright? So, uh, yan. Lack of direction on employees' roles, which makes it tough to organize and prioritize their tasks. Alright? Now, pang-apat is staff attitudes and hierarchy. Alright? So, the problem okay, with in, uh, in an office is meron na meron tayong mga uh, katrabaho na toxic. Which means, ito yung mga sipsip, mga chismosa, uh, ginagawa ka ng istorya na hindi naman totoo. Right? Um, next here is, there's no clear management procedures again. Okay? Na, yes, there are uh, rules and regulations, pero hindi masyadong klaro. Or, I mean, it's a vague na mahirap mong sundan. Okay? So, uh, working with toxic colleagues, uh, chances are we all, um, uh, we all experience this um, at one point in our, or you will experience this uh, if, for those who are working. You will experience this at uh, one point in your careers. So, uh, Either you've had the misfortune of working alongside with a disgruntled colleague that affects the mood and uh, morale of the team, or you, you'll be struggling with systems that make it uh, a challenge to complete a, a task because of all the red tape. Right? So, so most employees uh, say a balance between uh, having a clearly defined management procedures and allowing staff to be autonomous and to take ownership of their roles would improve attitudes and effectiveness. Okay? na sa background sums natin. Alright? So, um, yun na nga. Bigyan mo ang staff. Or, if you soon, you will become uh, you will become managers and bosses in the future. Or CEOs. Okay? Uh, let your employees be autonomous. Okay? Have their own roles para mas gumanda ang kanilang um, ang, ang kanilang um, work ethics right now number 5 is dealing with change right so um, alam natin um, change is quite difficult to accept okay now so you see no? in our school um, there had been changes with um, with um, the hours of classes, okay? So my mom, four hours, my two hours, my first ter uh, first half, second half, at my full term, okay? So that's a change that the employees or the instructors have to work on, okay? Uh, I admit that the change really is somewhat um, over, uh, overwhelming in my part kasi iba yung kinasanayan right? uh, but then dealing with change or change uh, changes in the workplace can consist of anything from management staff uh, turnover to procedural uh, changes or uh, changes in clients so either way dealing with change in the workplace is um, another common challenge all right so um, yan ang mahirap all right so uh, working lalo na yung mga talagang tumagal sa trabaho and then sasabihin ng management because there's a change of management okay so they'll be dealing with different boss they'll be dealing with different employees 
and they will be dealing with new system. Okay, so this becomes a challenge already. Say mahihirapan, bagong adjustment naman. You uh, you'll have to adjust with another boss, another uh, colleague, and the like. Right. So uh, number six is countering negativity. Right. So let's face it that um, if yeah, let's face uh, face it now. No, no. If even one of um, above is present to the workplace, uh, there's a good chance that the morale is being brought down, and some employees have adopted negative attitude. Okay, and uh, negativity often uh, stems from frustra uh, frustration, right? So, the more frustrations they face in the workplace, the more likely the um, they are to become negative. Okay, so. Yan ang problema. Okay? So, ano ba yung... Uh, saan ba nagagaling ang frustration na ito? Maybe because of the change that happened in the office. What else? Maybe because of the lack of communication. What else? Maybe because the management is not really giving the proper role to each employees. Okay? So, that becomes a challenge. Number seven is the ability to be creative. All right, so it's a challenge for anyone to be creative at, uh, at all time. All right, so uh, generally we have uh, uh, what we call creativity ebbs and flows for most of us. All right, so uh, um, to counter this kind of problem is to have a change of scenery or work environment so that it can stimulate the brain and it can spark creativity. So, how do we do that? Okay, Maybe at least sabihin natin once a month there should be something or uh, the management could create for us to, to um, have a new setup in the office, right? And uh, by that, okay? Sa ganyang paraan lang. At least an employee could be creative enough na, wow, it seems like I'm in a place okay, na hindi lang office. Okay? Kasi pag nasanay na ang isang tao sa isang opisina, medyo uh, tatamarin na. Okay? So a change of uh, environment will do. Or palitan ng decorations, something like that. Okay? Alright. And pangwalo is yung difficult clients or patrons. Alright, so dito papasok yung difference of perspectives and communication styles. Alright, so uh, difference of perspectives and communication styles can cross over into relationships with clients and patrons. Alright, now um, uh, this is uh, another common challenge um, and an opportunity to, uh, opportunity to challenge assumptions and find new situations with a shift uh, towards a greater mutual understanding from both parties. So, dapat ganun. There's the communication between two parties na um, ito yung uh, alam na natin kung ano yung mga di uh, different communication styles. Okay? So, um, this is a great place uh, to use the communication tool uh, that is um, being provided uh, that we already discussed before. No? Like, sabihin natin, kung ang kliyente eh, talagang sabihin galit na galit. Right? Let's, say, let's say, tell me more about it. Okay, what, is, what seems to be the problem? Right? And um, at least you can diffuse the anger of the irate customer if ever or a client okay so um pag magkaiba ang perspective anong gagawin then you can shift or change the way you communicate with the client all right and function is your new skills and professional development okay so uh, we all like to feel like we are accomplishing um something right working towards goals both professionally and personally 
right? So the desire is human nature and exists in the workplace more than you would think, right? So um, it's always a problem, okay? When you are in an office, but you think that there's a lack of career development and training. Now, your growth as a person, no? professionally and personally, sa tingin mo, hindi ka um, nag-grow sa isang office. Kasi, uh, wala masyadong um, training and development about um, the um, job you are working on. So that becomes a challenge. And this leads now to lack of creativity, wala nang uh, engagement sa office kasi sa tingin mo yung mga trainings na binibigay is hindi aligned sa iyong um, um, pinagtatrabahuan right so you th- you would think na hindi naman ako nag-grow dito right i might sa- uh, i might try other offices so mag-resign ka and look for a different office. Right? So that ends our first part or part one of our discussion and uh, I'll be discussing now um, on the second part on another video that um, the challenges faced by modern uh, workplaces. Alright? And um, watch the next video.